and October marks Breast Cancer Awareness Month. But year round, people are working to improve the fight. KVU's Ford Sanders shows us how an organization is providing care on the go. A high level of care from the beginning. They'll come into the bus and they'll meet with our mammography technologist. Lone Star Circle of Care's Big Pink Bus is for everyone. They can be insured or uninsured. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Rebecca Sorensen with the bus describes it as a mobile mammography unit. Since its takeover by LSCC in 2021, more than 2,200 mammograms have been provided and it has traveled over 10,000 miles across Central Texas. We go to places like clinics, uh, churches, nonprofits, anywhere where we can get into the community to provide those services to the women who need it. The COVID-19 pandemic resulted in many women putting off their annual checkups. Sorensen says a lot of this also has to do with transportation needs and other factors at play. Taking that service to them where they are helps uh, with accessibility, but we're also able to do it in an affordable way, which really helps a lot of the women that we serve as well. The Big Pink Bus is one of many a part of addressing cancer together, better known as ACT. From outreach to screening to diagnosis to treatment for those women who have a positive identification of cancer and then getting them onto insurance so their whole health care needs can be covered. Advocates for ACT saying this initiative is helping to address the needs in areas of Central Texas that may not have the same resources as Austin. In a rural county like Bastrop, we don't have a lot of resources for people who are underinsured and uninsured. And to join this coalition means that citizens in our county have an opportunity to get screened for cancer and get treatment. Sorensen noting they want to make the process as quick and easy as possible. It's only four images, so most women just get four images. It takes just a few minutes to do. Women who fall in the sliding scale range or have grant funding would pay anywhere from nothing to maybe $10. Another helpful resource mentioned from those addressing cancer together is by calling 211. You can actually be connected with primary care and screening options that work best for you. Darenisha.